Um, on behalf of all the volunteers from Canada, we just want to say a big, big thank you to all the South Africa staff and volunteers. And I know we just heard a bunch of thanks from all the staff and uh, leaders, but generally as the volunteers, we saw the day-to-day -day itinerary, we lived the day-to-day -day itinerary, and we can confidently say that you have done, you have literally gone above and beyond for us, that we've, there's no words to describe. You cared for us like we were your family. You, you catered to our every need. You made sure that we were happy, comfortable, and those things don't go unnoticed. We're gonna go back and we have so many stories to tell and I'm truly, truly leaving my heart here in South Africa. Um, and I know that through this program, this is a program like this only would exist if the intentions of the leaders that created this kind of program were pure and the leaders of the organization that would be uh, responsible for a program like that, that the intentions are pure. Um, and that's not, that's a, that's such a priceless um, realization that we've all made, I believe. Um, but I cannot wait to share back to our communities wherever we live that Islamic Relief is an organization that has the purest of intentions and that every dollar raised just wants to be maximized to benefit the communities um, everywhere. So really, I can't express enough that you really made us feel at home. You made us feel so comfortable and um, we really don't want to leave. So thank you so much. You, sir. You, sir. You, sir. Yasmin. I, uh, when I arrived here, I discovered Yasmin. She is five minutes from my house. So, uh, she, uh, I will introduce her to my family, inshallah, soon. So, uh, and himself as well. It's about ten minutes from my house. Mashallah, subhanAllah. It shows uh, other guys. It wasn't planned. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, sir. I took their money. You just pin it, pin it. Okay, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Just half an hour, that's it. So, look, I'm actually, that's the one thing I'm stressing about right now is trying to stick in the time limit, so bear with me. So, when I first landed here, the first thing that immediately captured me was South Africa's beauty. It did not take long for me to already fall in love with the country. First day here, first night here alone, I was infatuated with absolutely everything around me. People aside, just the country alone was beautiful, especially compared to back in Canada. We, we, don't, we don't have this. <laughs> Anyways, you know, as time progresses with the Inspire program, there's a lot of things I think we can all say that we've learned. And one of the number one things I think we have all learned, we can all agree together, is the extent of the difficulty of the people here. Now, when we hear about things on the news and we see these stories and we're looking at social media and we're keeping up with, you know, all these vulnerable communities across the world, uh, no matter how powerful these messages are being conveyed online, it never matches seeing it in person. And Inspire program, alhamdulillah, has given us the privilege and the opportunity to be able to see this and to experience it and to feel it at its core. So the one thing that I've truly learned here, one of the things, of many things I've learned, was how deep the difficulties are here. And this is, of course, as sad as it is and unfortunate as it is, it is also a very inspirational thing because it leaves us wanting to do more. When you see it online, you know, of course, everyone has that innate feeling. You know, I want to do more. I want to help out. I should donate a little bit. When you're there, you take it with you every single day. You don't forget it. And it empowers you to go out of your way way more compared to before to be able to go and help out these communities no matter what you know a lot of us are of course not south african we live in canada with many different backgrounds but i already feel so much towards this country that i consider south african a part of me at, at this point <laughs> i don't have the accent still learning the afrikaans a little bit but, the, but there's so much love for this country in my heart it empowers me so much to just do something this is definitely one of the countries that thanks to inspire program I want to revisit, whether it's Inspire or outside of Inspire, I don't want to lose this country. So that is one of the things I've learned. Another thing that a lot of the orphans and the vulnerable communities, mothers, children, all of them have taught me is gratitude, truly the extent of gratitude. Now, one of the things that really caught me off guard the most is when we visited uh, the community that was working, we were rehabilitating homes. 
we saw the living conditions were very, very poor. Very, very poor. It is not considered humane. They do not deserve to be living in homes like this. This is where they go home at the end of every day. Now we're looking at these communities and it breaks us inside, especially how privileged we are back home in Canada. We're looking at our communities. We'll complain about like a pothole on a residential street and you're looking at this place and it's completely, completely different. But not once have I heard one complaint from any of the locals. Not once have I heard a single complaint from any of them. And in fact, even the children, we all know children, they complain about absolutely everything. I work with them back home. <laughs> They'll find something to complain about. Every single child I met smiled about something. We were passing out balloons while rehabilitating the homes. We've all seen it. The smiles on their faces, they're, it's as if they completely forgot where they're living. But they know. They were there. They were standing in front of the house. That balloon alone what made them so happy. Or that one, that one little girl where their balloon popped and she immediately became sad and closed off just because of the balloon. It wasn't even because of her living conditions or her life. She just wanted the balloon. <laughs> so that's one thing. It taught me to be more grateful for what we have. As privileged as we are back home, it's very easy to get caught up in our lives, caught up with taxes, bills, education, studying for all of these things. But this is, a, this is what I like to call it. It's a, it's a privileged struggle. And this is something that has really opened my eyes here in South Africa. Thanks to the Inspire program and Islamic Relief really helping me out to guide me through this experience and really take these things away. And now, one thing I also want to you know, mention about these kids, and I think we can all say they're in safe hands with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is Allah himself says, the more grateful you are, the more he gives you. And this is something I have experienced just by seeing. Seeing how grateful they are for the, smaller, the smallest things, it's not coincidence that these are the families getting the help. It's not a coincidence that they're the ones that we're going out to help with. Allah sent us. You know, who are we at the end of the day? Well, we had the resources. We had something. And they sent us. And they smiled and said thank you every single time. May Allah give them and reward them countless times over and over in the dunya and akhirah. I mean, now I also want everybody to realize here how privileged we are to be chosen to be helping here in South Africa. Now, not everyone gets into this. Nothing is by coincidence. And especially with the Islamic Relief Canada team, we've talked about this many times before. Every single one of us has been chosen to help here. And this is not just for Islamic Relief Canada. Islamic Relief South Africa, all of you, the volunteers as well, you may live here, but a lot of people that you live with here are not helping the way you do. Allah has placed you guys here in South Africa rather than another country because Allah knew what you guys were going to do. You're, in, you're here in South Africa spending your time with Islamic Relief helping out these communities. Allah knows these things. You're all here and we're not because Allah knows the work you guys are capable of doing. And so there's no discredit to the Islamic Relief South Africa team. As much as privileged as the Islamic Relief Canada team is, the shout out goes to everybody. And so at the end of the day, after all this work that we've been doing, all the things that I've learned, all the things I've experienced in, here in South Africa, there's one thing that truly made me fall in love with this country completely, and it's the people. So the Inspire, uh, the Inspire uh, Islamic Relief Canada team, Shout out to all you guys, of course. This is such a fun team. You guys are so full of energy every single day. I struggle to keep up the energy whenever I'm waking up, struggling in the morning, struggling with my sleep. And you guys are all like ahead of the game and immediately I feel okay. Each one of you are so dedicated. Yes, Fatim? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Lights are going off in a minute. It will take five minutes before it kicks in. Is this going to turn off too? Yeah. Uh, I can speak loud. It's okay. <laughs> I'm almost done. Don't worry. So, shout out to the Islamic League Canada team. And now, when we look at the Islamic League South Africa team as well, I want to emphasize the natural connection we all had. Like, SubhanAllah, we came here. It did not take much to connect with you guys. I came to the airport. <laughs> I looked at Sam as if he was my long lost brother. <laughs> came and hugged each other. It was no problem. <laughs> It was, it, was, it was instant, it was immediate. We didn't need to learn anything about each other. And so, also, Islamic Relief South Africa and Canada, to all of you, I want to emphasize and all, have all of you guys really reflect on the attributes that Allah has given you guys. Each one of you, not, there's not a single one of you that I've met that is not kind-hearted, has a big heart, is dedicated, is selfless, working for others. Every single one of you have such beautiful souls. Each one of you, every single one of you are so rare. I promise you, you're rare. We seem common right now because we're all together, but I, I, I swear when you go out into the world and you're on your own, each one of you are so hard to find. Your types are very, very hard to find. So mashallah, all of you, all of you are beautifully gifted. And uh, so 
after all this, falling in love with the people due to the people, falling in love with South Africa due to the people. I think the number one thing that is, I'm always going to carry with me is all of your big hearts and the effect that this has on mine. When I go back home, inshallah, the love that you guys have given, the enthusiasm you guys have given, the inspiration that you guys have given me through the Inspire program and Islamic Relief, it is something I'm going to carry with me every single day. And it's not something I'm going to ever forget. I already know it. I already know it. It's stuck with me for the rest of my lives. And I think every single one of us can say the same. So, inshallah, I'm really hoping to come back and see you all. I don't want to forget you guys. <laughs> But that's all I have to say. Alhamdulillah for everything. Alhamdulillah for the experience. Alhamdulillah to Islamic Relief Canada. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Dr. Tariq, Ammu, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate all of you guys and the opportunity you guys have given me. Islamic Relief South Africa, every single one of you guys have been more than great, more than helpful. And of course, Dr. Hani, we cannot forget you. It has been such a pleasure meeting you. May Allah reward you for every single thing you have done in your lifetime. Assalamu alaikum wa how long is that? Is that long? Is it good? So, uh, oh. uh, nice message we'll keep as it. usual. As long as I ask Allah, I thank Allah, give you another chance.